Landscape of the Capybara River by Jao Cabral de Meloneto. The city is crossed by the river as a street is crossed by a dock, a piece of fruit by a sword. The river is crossing the city as if a dog is crossing the street or a sword is crossing the fruit or slicing the fruit. It is crossing through the center of the city like a dog crossing the street or a sword slicing a fruit. It is so swiftly moving. The river calls to mind a dog's docile tongue or a dog's sad belly or that the other river which is the dirty wet cloth of a dog's two eyes. The river reminds the poet about a dog's submissive tongue, that it is ready to do anything that man tells him to do. It is so vulnerable to man's whims and fancies. The man has taken the control of the river as if a dog is being controlled by its master. The view of the river also reminded the poet about a dog's sad belly. The river is smoothly flowing like a smooth belly of the dog. And now the dirty river reminds him about a dog's two eyes. The river was like a dog without feathers. It knew rose nothing of the blue rain, of the rose-colored fountain, of the water in a water glass, of the water in pitchers, of the fish in the water, of the breeze on the water. Here, the poet is speaking about what all things the river doesn't know about. What are beautiful things that has not seen by the river or felt by the river? The poet is saying that the river or the people residing near the river are like dogs without feathers. The river know nothing about the beautiful blue rain. It know nothing about the rose color fountain. It knows nothing about a water in the water glass. It hasn't seen people taking water from it in pictures. Because its water has become so dirty and unclean and cannot be used by the people. No one is approaching it for the water. It is unknown about the species called fish. It hasn't seen any fish in the water. It hasn't even felt a breeze on itself. It has never experienced a breeze.